The reason why there has to be men's rights is because certain rights others are entitled to are either not granted to men at all or are regularly infringed by law and policy. And yes, some of those issues have been caused or exacerbated by feminism, which is not synonymous with women's rights, bitch. But a lot of them did not originate with feminism. Male-only military conscription is a men's rights issue because in most countries, only men are forced to serve during a draft, and in the vast majority, with mandatory service, even in peacetime, it's also male-only. Interestingly, did you know that in South Korea, men have to serve for 22 months after turning 18? They're paid less than minimum wage. Meanwhile, their sisters go straight from high school to university. Until recently, men had been able to leverage their service as partial credit in university programs they entered two years later than their sisters did after serving their country for a pittance. But women's rights groups insisted this gave men an unfair advantage over women, so now they're not allowed to do that anymore. On the other side of the planet, in Sweden, affirmative action in university admittance was repealed the moment men began to benefit from it in university in general, where women are 60% of students, and in particular in fields like veterinary medicine, which is dominated by women to the tune of about 90%. This after an outcry from women's rights groups that declared it unfair. Unfair that less qualified men were being given the same advantage women had been given for decades. The minister responsible in a statement said the, that affirmative action laws were instantiated to help women, not slam the doors of opportunity in their faces. And in the U.S., well, male dominance in post-secondary was considered a massive problem in the 60s and 70s, and corrective action was taken. What most people don't know is that up until the 1940s, there wasn't much of a gap at all. The gap between men and women in post-secondary was a direct result of the GI Bill, which gave veterans, many of whom had been drafted against their will, grants, low-income loans to purchase houses and start businesses, or to get an education. Oh, what a strange, strange world we're living in, that a token of appreciation from a government given to the men who were subjected to an involuntary servitude on its behalf could be so convincingly reframed as an unfair male privilege that oppresses and marginalizes women. <laughs> 